Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another motivational cleaning video. Today I'm sharing my daily cleaning routine, what I clean on a daily basis and what I don't make a priority. This video is sponsored by Shark. Shark was kind enough to send me a brand new Shark Apex Duo Clean with 0M technology. I did a little demonstration the other day on my Instagram stories and some of you seemed very interested in the hair wrap feature. That's my absolute favorite thing about this vacuum. It does not require you to flip it over and yank the hair off the hair roll. It does it for you. Lots of very satisfying vacuum lines in this video for you today. This new addition is the reason I've been keeping up with my daily routines. Girl, I'm vacuuming for no reason. This is like having a new car for me. So now I'm giving you guys a little before. I've been asked so many times to make sure I include this part. My apartment isn't that bad at all. This is not a seriously intense deep cleaning video. This is just what I do to keep my apartment together on a daily basis. And after that, I will meet you guys in my room where we'll start my updated daily cleaning routine. You guys see me make my bed in just about all of my cleaning videos, but I had been falling off doing that first thing in the morning for months. Now I make it a must to make my bed in the morning. This is where I sit to work. I also sit at my desk, of course, to work, but if I look back over my shoulder and my bed is unmade, even if I'm at my desk, it just makes me wanna get right back into it and lounge. So it's been a major priority for me to keep my room and bathroom clean. I never wanna feel like I can't concentrate in here because of the mess. With that being said, I am human. Such things are unavoidable. It does happen sometimes but as long as I'm doing it more often than not, I can forgive myself. Any clothing or towels left out get put right back or into the laundry. I don't keep a little pile by the door anymore and then after two days bring it into the laundry room. My laundry is always falling off and I've accepted that, you guys all know. I do make a huge effort to wash, dry, and fold at least. Even if I have three or more huge loads washed and dried, after a few days I will sit and take the time to fold it all or put it all away, just depends. So my desk area does say pretty clean, like I said, I'm just emptying out the waste basket. But you guys, I found a new desk, it's an L-shaped desk. I have to hook up my printer and a boon and my mic stand and all of that, I'm so excited. Moving on into my bathroom, I get ready in here every day and I was leaving everything out and opened. Not until my son spilled a very expensive serum did I say to myself, okay, a few extra seconds and put stuff away. It's more trouble than it's worth. I also use activated charcoal in here every day and it gets messy. So a quick surface clean keeps it looking presentable and inviting. That reaction where I'm like fanning my face and going whoo is because I put way too much peppermint essential oil in my solution this time. So be careful with the peppermint oil. Have your eyes and nose and everything running. Now I'm gonna vacuum the floors using my Shark Apex Duo Clean with 0M technology. I just had to say it again. But you guys, look at how it's picking up those tumbleweeds off the floor. And I'm gonna show you a close up that there's absolutely no hair on the roll. It's all nice and rolled up in there in the little canister, and you just dump it out at the end. Moving into our living areas, there's always a blanket or two or just toys and random stuff. Lately, I have been vacuuming our couch daily, mostly because of this new vacuum. And honestly, the sound and vibration is so relaxing. My old vacuum was a hand-me-down and had no attachments. So I am just so happy using all of these different ones. I really like that this vacuum has a spotlight. You can literally see every little particle. There is also a pet attachment, but you guys know I don't have any pets. I will be using the dust attachment because my AC vent is super dusty. The 
You'll notice some wet marks on the couch. I did spot clean some Play-Doh off with my vinegar mix and a scrub brush, so I'm just picking up what's left. So on the low pile carpet setting, the vacuum glides and pretty much just guides me. It's very easy to maneuver. As you can see, it swivels and turns with very little effort. I still get asked why I cover my TV sometimes. I don't think I can have other creators' images in my videos without permission. Typically, I have Electronomia playing and I love his music, so I wouldn't want to do anything to jeopardize having access. On the other hand, Electronation has given me permission to use his images, so that's why I don't cover them. I'm using the thick area rug setting to vacuum my area rug. Two hands was definitely needed for this. This rug is ridiculously thick. We lost a dime in it the other day and I'm still trying to understand. In my kitchen, I'm clearing the countertops, and yes, that's my camera, I'm putting it away. No, I have not used it for any of my videos, not even clips or pictures, it's all been my phone. I promised a video forever ago about tips using your phone to grow your channel, and I'm still going to do that once I exclusively use my camera. So far, I have only used my vinegar mix to surface clean. I showed in my last cleaning video that I use the daily shower spray after every shower, which I do, but I didn't include that this time. Any products or tasks that I didn't include will be in the description, as well as links to my most popular motivational cleaning videos. This AC vent gets neglected. We change our filter once a month, but I always forget or neglect cleaning it. My eyes lit up when I saw this vacuum had a dust attachment because this was the first thing I thought of, so I saved it for this video.
My kids' beds do not get made daily and that's mainly because they play in here all the time. They're on and off the bed so there's really no point. I do go in every once in a while and straighten it up. The toys, we have a new system which I'll show you guys and it cuts back on all the toys being out at the same time. Sometimes we still do end up with a huge mess because I have three kids and if they all want to play with a different bin then we have a mess but sometimes the girls share so it's fine. The best part is everything has its bin and cleanup and storage is super easy. The last thing I'm going to do in my kids room is wipe down all the glass because there's always sticky prints if you have kids you know exactly what I mean it's like your glass is never ever clean. My kids bathroom does get surface clean every day it gets a little bit of a deeper clean at night because i clean the tub and the toilet i've said in so many videos but all my kids use this bathroom so things escalate very quickly if i don't stay on top of it If you are looking for a new vacuum, I definitely recommend trying out the Shark Apex Duo Clean. This Zero M technology has me sold. I'll also leave a link in my description for 15% off using my code JESSICA15. If you like this video, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all in my next video.